This video is about the transcription of three nasal sounds in the IPA. The three nasal sounds na, nya, and na have very similar characters in the IPA. There is a risk of confusing them, and you may struggle with remembering them. After watching this video, you will always be able to tell them apart. The base character for these three characters is the letter N from the Latin alphabet, which in the IPA stands for an alveolar nasal, na. Let us start with a common phone, na which is a velar nasal, pronounced with the back of the tongue against the velum. You can see that this letter bears a strong resemblance to the letter G. Specifically, the open tail allograph, or glyph, of G. So, both G and the lowercase letter ng stand for velar sounds. When writing the letter G and ng, the hook or tail comes last. On the other hand, nya is a palatal nasal. Nya is a palatal nasal. Let us compare the palatal glide, ya, and its character j. In the case of j, the hook is probably the first stroke you make. So you can remember, when transcribing palatal sounds, the hook comes first. You can also look at digraphs such as English ng, which stands for nga, and in this case g comes last, so the tail of g comes last. But if you compare this to the Italian digraph gn, which can stand for a palatal nasal, nga, you will notice that the g comes first. So the tail of G also must come first. Now, let us look at a completely different sound. Fittingly, the hook goes in the opposite direction from the other ones. This is the sound na. Na is a retroflex nasal, as you can see in the top right corner. Not every linguist limits this transcription to sounds you might call actual retroflex sounds. But I would stick to the definition of a curled back tongue and underside of the tongue, as you can call it, subapical articulation, for the purposes of this video. Notice how it's not the back of the tongue, like in the previous two sounds, but the front of the tongue curling backward. You may compare the gra graphemes for other coronal phones, which is the term for a phone pronounced with the front of the tongue. You may also notice hooks to the right. As you can see in this font, not every one of these alveolar phones actually has a hook to the right. But in the case of T, you can see one. In the case of L and N, you may or may not have learned them in your handwriting. I created these allographs in a vector editor, 
feel free to leave in the comments which ones you find more normal and which part of the world you're from. Personally, I never write a straight L. For the transcription of retroflex sounds, I propose this as a mnemonic. If the low hook goes to the right, like for other coronal phones, then the phone is retroflex. These were three different nasals and mnemonics how to transcribe them in the IPA. Did this video help you remember them? Leave your feedback in the comments. Thank you for watching.